Hey guys, ooh, I'm so tired. Today was a long day. And I see what um, people be talking about um, when they be complaining about my own people and how we be acting towards one another. It don't make no sense. I'm trying, I'm looking for my pod. Guys, I finally got a lot of stuff done this time around. I had so much stuff going on and I might have to come back because I need that pod. That little uh thing and i just don't understand what i did the hell i did with it today just been a long ass day um i i was very irritated i know good and well they didn't take my damn um i was about to say i know they ain't take that anyways guys y'all can see i'm out of breath man i got into it with um i had to take off my little um jacket i was cute today i had my little jacket on but it's a little hot but i was gonna show y'all y'all probably don't care anyway but it's my video y'all know i dress a certain type of way so i don't show stuff but i had i had i looked the cute today i felt like i looked the cute uh but yeah i um had this on today and my skirt and my fringes and every time I wear them fringes, people be looking at me crazy as hell. Yep, but this is how I was today. And, um, yeah, I had to take this off when I came in the house because it was so hot. But, guys, today was crazy. And it seemed like when you dress a certain way, too, they know you um, They know you different. And a lot of times they know who you are, too. And your own people be, um, that's why everybody that's Israel ain't Israel. And that's for people that's in the truth. Man, they be hating on you so bad. Now I see what all the um, Israelite women and the men was talking about, about our own people. And how they'll um, put hatred against you. So guys, I'm going to talk about the UPS incident. Man, it was, it was, it was hell. And I'm going to call back um, and talk to corporate about that girl's attitude. She's going to um, tell corporate that um, I had came in there with an attitude, but I didn't come in there with no attitude. That's, that's what black women, um, and I had no offense to, um, to those uh, so-called black women, but that's what, we got a bad habit with that. But, um, she going to, um, Get smart with me. And when I walked in, she was already looking at me um, crazy. She was already looking at me weird and was like, um, now this is um, big too because I liked it. So I just got it or whatever. Because you can actually tuck it in or uh, tie it up in the back and stuff like that. But I um, just have it loose or whatever since I had on my whatchamacallit. But yeah, she um, she was looking at me, looking at what I had on. And as soon as I walked in, she was looking at me crazy. Was looking at me crazy and was um, looking me up and down with an attitude. I saw it on her face. She was frustrated. And when I asked her, she acted like she didn't want to be bothered. She acted like she wasn't helping me no more. She was like, um, they're right. Um, I said, y'all have um, virtual mailboxes because I had um, spoke with someone. And um, someone at the, um, I said, well, if this location don't have it, I said, um, I know y'all have many other locations. And they did tell me they had it because I, um, I called up here. And then she was like, um, she was like, she was just doing all this facial expression. Y'all know how, how us, how we can be. And then she going to go over there to this gay dude, this, um, LGBT dude. And he full of shit too. He going to, uh, she going to say, um, she didn't explain nothing to me, but she did me real nasty and kept turning her face up and it was like, like that. And I was like, what is her problem? She went over there to him. She said, we don't, um, have virtual mailboxes. Um, we don't have, do we have, um, virtual mailboxes? And he was, and I guess he basically told her no. And then she was like, um, we don't have virtual mail. I said, so she was like, like that, just kept going like that, like that. And I was like, I said, um, I said, oh, so y'all don't have, she was like, no, like that. And I was like, I said, okay. Um, I said, sorry to bother you, ma'am. Sorry um, for bothering you. Like then she's like, um, she said, uh. What did she say to me? She said, no, you ain't bothering me. Or something she gonna say. I was just like, this lady is full of shit. So then the white lady gonna jump in and was like, um, she, um, I frustrated her. Um, it's my fault. I frustrated her. I've been, um, putting pressure on her. I've been, um, I got some orders that ain't right. And we've been in here for, um, some time now. And she, she frustrated. I done, um, I done made her mad. 
I, I ain't gonna lie. I was so glad that um that uh that Edomite said that. I um and no offense to people that's watching that uh is offended, offended by that. Um, so, uh, aka Caucasian Kazar, she um took she kind of took up for me and was like, yeah, she got an attitude, and this is why. I said, boy, she um so I um she said um she said you can go talk to him, deal with him. Go um deal with him. Go talk to him. I said um I just I said oh I will. I said because you have an attitude. You you have an attitude. She's like oh no you had an attitude when you first walked in. I said um what? I said no you had an attitude like that. I t I said it just like that. I said baby I can clap back too. Don't get this twisted. I will clap back too. Cause sometimes. You get tired of um tired of your own people, especially these so-called black women that be acting ghetto. And I call you black when you acting black. Cause you was acting black. And I want to say some things, but I'm a um I'm gonna hold my tongue. Y'all, y'all would have had to been there to see how she was acting and why I was getting irritated. But guys, I've been out all day. I finally got the insurance um put on the vehicles. They went I was on the phone with the insurance company. It took two days. Today, I was on the phone with them all damn day. And they was like, oh, it takes 24 hours for it to update in the DMV um, online. I was like, man, I ain't got time for this. I kept going on the DMV. They said, your um insurance ain't active. Your insurance ain't active. I was like, man, it normally don't take this long when I do this. It normally go in right away when I do it. It normally go in right away. And um, they was like, yeah, well, it's active, um, but it might take 24 hours. And the reason why it ain't active, I said, it ain't never um done this. When I got insurance, it was active. When I got ready to do my car registration and tag and all of that, he said, yeah, I don't know what's going on. He said, but you active? He said, you got your car, right? I said, yep, I can. Um, I got my car digitally. He said, okay. I was thinking the same way he was thinking. I was like, I got this. I can um, legally drive up here to the DMV, show them proof that I got it so they can give me my stickers. And um, I kept sitting around. I said, man, I ain't got time for this. And guys, I'm going to have to get off in a minute and then come back with this video. <laughs> hey, guys, I don't know what I was talking about with y'all, but it's so much going on. <laughs> but anyways, I don't know what I was talking about. Let me go back and listen to the video and then merge them together so I know where I picked off that. Hold on. Okay, guys, now I know what I was talking about. I was talking about the DMV. So, um, yeah, they on the, um, but anyways, I, um, drove myself down there and it was fine. I prayed about it and it was fine. Um, cause, the, um, and they fixed it out and gave me my stickers on for both vehicles, gave me my registration, everything. Guys, when I was doing that, how about my check engine light come on and it's acting crazy again, but I already knew what it was. Because um, I had those misfires where I had to get all those, the coal package. And when you have a misfires, you have to do the package um, at, at once and fix all the coals. If you only fix one coal here, one coal there, it will stay okay. And then it'll start acting up until you replace it. So people that know about cars know what I'm talking about. So when I got a printout at AutoZone, they told me it was the oxygen sensor. So I finally got in touch with my um my mechanic and he said, sure, sure. And then he was like, he also going to... um. He wanted to take me all the way to Atlanta to go see other um towing vehicles, but I told him I couldn't find no good price in Atlanta. Everything was seven thousand over six six thousand dollars. Not even going out the door. More fees before it goes out the door. And then I said, in the list on the max that I could find was ten thousand. I said I can't afford that type of price for a vehicle. I said I already tried that. I said I was gonna do Decatur, but they wanted seven thousand, and that wasn't even out the door. And he was like, oh, yeah. I said, in the Toyota Tosoma or whatever you want to call it, the Toyota pickup, it is a 2002. I said, but it, um, but it's like 5000 and something. He's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about. He was like, yeah, because um, they're going to um, try to get over on you at these small, like, little towns. I was like, well, he's like, I see what you're talking about. You already did your research. Anyways, guys, I'm going to digress there because I got too much to talk about. So he was like, he going to come to my house today to um, look at my Toyota Avalon again to get that straightened out. And um, I'm going to have him look at my black car too. My black car ain't doing nothing. But what the hell? Let me let me call y'all back. Yeah, I'm back now. That was um, my realtor calling me. So I touched her up. So she said she going to just let my mechanic take me out there. So he going to be at my house at probably around 9 a.m. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow. And then we going to head uh, on up there. 
to the place where I'm going to be looking at my towing vehicle. And we don't know where it's going to be like, so we just going to see how it looks. And yeah, I don't want it if it's bad. So I know how um my mechanic is. He gonna make sure it's um good. So I'm gonna um you know get him to go out there with me, and then my realtor is gonna meet us out there. And then she asked me, did I want the um camper? So she's gonna get with Mr. Lee and tell him that we are okay with the price. And then she gonna prop we probably me and her gonna go to take care of that and go pick that up. I I don't pick it up because they're gonna drop it off at the um place I want to live at. So, and then I told her to look for some land for me, but, um, we'll see. <laughs> so guys, I'm going to try to keep y'all updated on what's going on. Hopefully I'll be getting closer and closer. They done pretty much got everything up out of here. And my um mechanic, he said that the, one of his customers might want the beds. So I'm going to send her a, a, a message, but, um, <sighs> Yeah, I'm finna send her a message and see if she want it. If not, I'm finna call these other people back. But all right, guys, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell.